As a new parent, heading back to work may not be as easy as you'd hoped. And one of the many things that you need to think about may be childcare and whether it's the right choice for you and your little one. So, is childcare the right option for you and what are the questions you should be asking when you make that decision? Here to tell us more is Karen Morley from the Community Childcare Association. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. It's great to have you here today. Thank you. So, Karen, what age should you send your child off to childcare? Children can start childcare from as early as six weeks. However, the availability does often determine the start date. Great. And what types of childcare are available for children out there? Predominantly, it's long day care, which is either commercial or not-for-profit community services. Is there any other option available to people? Long day care is the main one. There's also family day care, in-home day care, nannies. Often people use extended family members for their care. Okay, so there's quite a range out there. Absolutely. Finding the right one to fit you. And so how does someone tell a good childcare centre from a bad childcare centre? Certainly parents have different perceptions of what is good quality childcare. I think it's important that people go with their gut instinct. When they walk into a service, they get a feel for it. They meet the staff. Often it might be as simple as there wasn't a great deal of noise. You're going to expect that there will be a bit of noise in a childcare centre, but you want to be looking for constructive. If the children are busy, that they're not overstimulated, that you've got programs available, and how the interactions with the staff are occurring in those children. So how does, uh, how does someone go about finding a good childcare, well, finding a childcare centre, not necessarily a good one? But... Sure. Often when families have had a child, they're involved in, whether it be mother's group, they're visiting the maternal health centre, they might start using local council services. Most of the council services have um, information on waiting lists. Often you'll be able to go on to websites. Mm -hmm. The NCAC, which is the National Child Care Accreditation Council, has a service where people can put in their postcode and find those services that are accredited or waiting for accreditation in their area. And so when you're looking for a potential childcare centre, what sort of questions should you be asking them? You'd be asking what sort of programs are available, whether the service has gone through the accreditation process and what their marks were. They should have that table displayed. Be looking at the policies and the procedure, whether the service provides food, what services are available within the centre, and obviously cost is going to be a big one. So plenty of questions to ask. Yes, yes. And one of those is, should we be doing reference checks? It's difficult to do reference checks on the staff. You'd have to expect that all of those staff that are working in those services have gone through reference checks. There's also the regulations which stipulate staff must have police checks and also the new working with children check, which is an extremely valuable tool for parents. And what are the benefits of childcare to your child and your family? It exposes children to a wider world. It's also social development. Children are nurtured in good quality community services where families are involved in the direction of the service. They're also employing the staff. So it's about meeting people's needs. It's about providing children with a good sense of self. And all the research that we look at demonstrates clearly that if children feel a good sense of self, then they're good people. Then I always believe that if we were able to send children off to school and they could raise their hand and ask a question and feel comfortable and comfortable in their own skin, then we did a good job. So self-esteem and self-confidence are very important, and, uh, but there's probably a lot of other important things that childcare should be providing with my child. Absolutely. You'd be looking at the outdoor environment. Some services will offer excursions. Some people will like the backyard. Some people will like, you know, there are services that provide family grouping and that's where all the children are in one group together and they can move about freely. So again, it's what parents need and what they think is important for their child. Yeah, big issues, lots of things, big decisions going yes. to childcare, so you've got to make sure it's the right thing for you. Absolutely. And on a more prosaic matter, um, what sort of government assistance is available for childcare? The main one is childcare benefit, which is a, is a sliding scale and it's a percentage that's paid to the service on behalf of the families. There's also the tax rebate, which is currently 30%. And if my child's unhappy at childcare, what, what should I do about it? Parents need to be realistic. It's a transition time. And if a, if a parent's returned to work, it's a transition time for them also. So they need to be mindful of how that's impacting on the child. You'd want to make sure that the service is communicating with those families and that the staff are aware of the child's needs and that there's a real nurturing going on. And they're, they're looking at the child and understanding the process. Well, thank you for coming in today, Karen, and thank you for sharing your knowledge and experience of childcare options that are out there. Thank you, Regan. It's been great having you with us. Thanks.